Thank you for talking to us this morning. Um, just in terms of being one of the, a large business centre operator, I'd be really interested in your views for the sector as a whole, for the outlook for 2015, and where you think it's likely to go, any trends that might be emerging, etc. Sure, I think you know we've had a very good 2014, and I don't see any reason why that won't move over into certainly the early part of 15. I suppose slightly concerned about the impact around the election time, and perhaps perhaps that resulting in a short term blip. But there's no uh, suggestion in any of the economic stuff that that the continued growth that we're seeing, and um, we're a central London business, uh, will will slow down. And so I'm relatively positive about 2015. And in terms of the occupiers, have you seen any changes or are you anticipating any changes in terms of their makeup, whether it be more SMEs, more, um, more the corporates, high growth SMEs, or whether it's startups and incubators? Not particularly. I mean, our business has been pretty well established and over time our average occupier is around the sort of eight or, eight or nine desks. And because we've got a pretty big client base, that doesn't move very much. I, I think we probably will see, that said, a, a smaller number of larger corporate occupiers, and we don't have many. So I see, if I will see, I expect to see a, a small uptick in that size. But overall, I think the number will stay probably broadly similar. And one of the key things, obviously, about business centres and how why they're so attractive is the flexibility. Um, do you see the traditional office markets trying to move in on that as the business sector, um, business centre sector grows? Um, and what what do you think the barriers to the office market are, and how will business centres need to innovate to, to stay ahead? I don't. I don't see the larger sort of traditional landlords moving into our space. We're a very, you know, very different business operationally. Much more service, m m more staff, much more day-to-day -day intensity in what we do for our clients, and that's not what the, late, the traditional corporate corporate property or commercial property uh, guys do. Um, so I don't see that's happening. I think we, and, and we're in a different market. They're into big leases. We're into ten people, and so our, our key dynamics of flexibility. You know, service, I think they will hold true and we'll continue to do that. I think we'll have to provide additional IT services and, and capability because that will keep our, our clients with us. So uh, and I think we're just going to keep uh, um, innovating around that service and co-working is a good example of stuff that's happening and, and, and you know, collaboration. Okay, thank you very much.